Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my choices for my summer favorites for 2015. I have quite a few things, so sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy my favorites for this year. So first, I'm going to start with scrubs. This one is a body scrub. It's the Cocoa Cream Body Scrub from the Body Shop. It smells really nice and it's not too rough. It's really creamy. I like it. My next scrub, I just started using this. It's the Oatmeal Face Scrub by St. Ives. It's really gentle and not drying and it's gentle enough to use every day and it gets my face super clean and I just love it. The last scrub I'm going to show you is a lip exfoliating stick, I guess you'd call it, by Motives. I love the packaging, it feels so smooth, it kind of reminds you of NARS, but it's not as nice as NARS packaging, but it's really nice. So I'll show you what it looks like, it looks just like a lipstick, and that's what it looks like. It's got like a faint minty smell to it, and it does a great job scrubbing your lips. It is kind of coarse. So I would say if you ever get it, don't go too hard at first, like go soft and then test it out and see how it feels, but I love it and it was kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it because you don't have to use it every day. It does a really good job and you don't have to exfoliate your lips every day, so check that out. I will leave a link below for this because I think you can only order it online. I haven't seen it in any stores, so I'll leave a link. Check it out. My next few favorites are for hair. If, if you've seen my past videos, you know that I love the coconut and hibiscus line from Shea Moisture. I know you've seen this one everywhere. It's the Curly Enhancing Smoothie. I finally tried it. It's just like the Imagine it's my favorite, I don't remember the word, but the, the hair milk or lotioner is just like the other one I use, except when you do your twist out, it's like it, they're more defined, like it does exactly what it says it does. I like the results I get with this. It's a little more expensive than the other one, but it is worth it. Next for my hair favorites is the Tangle Teaser. I have the regular size one, the big one, but I really like this. This is the travel size and it has the case to protect the bristles from getting dirty if you throw it in your bag. So I really like that. I, Since I bought this, I have not touched the regular size one. The case and the size just make all the difference. Like it's so much easier to hold than the other one. And... I love it. I got mine at Sephora. I think it was about $25 Canadian, but I love it so much. It's replaced all my other brushes. I think I will do another video on this because um, I'm actually using this to save my edges because I got a bit carried away using my boar bristle brush to slick down my edges and I'm kind of lose, I kind of lost them, so I'm getting them back because this does not rip out your hair. So that's why I love this. This does not take out any of the fine hairs along your hairline. My last favorite for hair is a hair perfume by Pink Sugar. And it smells really nice. It smells nice and summery and sweet. It doesn't really smell like flowers and it doesn't smell like candy, but it just has a nice sweet smell to it. I love it. I keep it in my bag and I'm just spraying it all the time. I love it. My next favorite, this is like a lifetime favorite. It's the Fantasy Perfume from Britney Spears. This is a lifetime favorite. It's not a summer favorite. This is a lifetime favorite, but I feel like it's kind of summery, so I'm sharing it with you now, but you will see this pop up in my videos forever, like forever. My next set of favorites are my makeup favorites. I'm gonna start with 
my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray. This one is in the scent Coconut. When I, after I smelled this one, I didn't even care to smell any of the others. I know that they have lavender and cucumber and the unscented one and I can't remember the rest, but this one, just this one. When you go there, just smell this one. My next favorites are two lipsticks by Milani. They're kind of summer shades. I am wearing Naturally Chic today. My next favorite is a brush, a brush by EcoTools. It is their Mattifying Finish brush. It is dirty, but I love this. I just like to use this to intensify the matteness whenever I can. And it's really soft. I think the color is so cute. That is just so cute. My next favorite, this is taking over for my mascaras this summer. The Super Sizer from CoverGirl. It's my first CoverGirl mascara and I love it. I don't know why I never tried them before. You know, I, a Maybelline girl, but this this one right here, I'll show you the brush. The brush is everything. It's got bigger bristles at the tip, which is what I need because I'm kind of handicapped when it comes to getting my inner corner and these make it, the long bristles at the tip make it super easy for me to get there. So this is the only one I've been reaching for all summer. CoverGirl Super Sizer. And my last summer favorite is actually an eyeshadow palette. It is the new Dude eyeshadow palette from The Bomb. The Bomb Cosmetics. And I was inspired to get this palette because of this guy right here. That color right there. Got it in my Ipsy bag as a single shadow. And I, I just fell in love with it because it looks, it looks kind of purple brown at first and then you realize it has gold and when you put it on when you put it on where the light hits it kind of looks like a dim gold color and then off light it looks purple I mean it's like a changing color and it's the most uh, it's still the most awesome color in this palette maybe I'll do a review on this palette they are nice neutral shades today I'm wearing fit today and it's really nice. It's, they've been really great for the summer. Lots of shimmery shades, a couple matte shades, and this one as a highlighter is amazing. So that's it for my summer favorites. I hope I didn't forget anything. Most likely I did because I always do. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check the stuff out. I will leave links down below so that you can check them out online if you want to. Anyway, like I said, that's it for my summer favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for returning if you've ever been here before and if you're new. I'm Alicia. Check out the rest of my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So next up are my makeup favorites and I'm going to start with my MAC Prep and Prime, my MAC Prep and Prime Fix, my MAC's Fix Plus.